Greetings, my fellow gamers! It is I, Wraith King, and today we are talking about another Who's Next video. I really, really like making these Who's Next videos because there is always so many great ideas you guys and gals come out uh, and tell me about. Um, you tweet me, you tell me a whole bunch of interesting things about what you think should be added to the game. And uh, just today, a friend tweeted me an idea. Um, he, he had these sketches that he made up. He didn't really have much of a story uh, to these characters as far as I know, but he um, showed me the sketches and I got an idea. They're called the Demon Lords. And his name is T. Blumen. I'll leave the link to his channel in the description because he loves making Seven Nights videos and I really like his channel. You guys gals gotta check it out. But um, something I really have to say about this idea is it's really, really interesting. Uh, and I had an idea uh, from these characters myself, and I think T. Blumen will really like this as well. Now, first of all, the God of Destruction is in the game, right? But he's not a part of it as uh, a character, and you don't really see much on his character. And I felt, hang on a second, just hang on a second here. The Demon Lords, what they could be is they could be direct spawns from the God of Destruction, and they could work with him directly. They answer to only the God of Destruction. That's what the Demon Lords could be. And I feel like if that was added to this game, they could be special heroes, first of all. Um, they could be direct enemies of even the Seven Knights, the Dark Knights. They will, you guys don't know too much about them, but they will be added to the game a little later on. If you want to know more about the Dark Knights, just shoot me up in the comments. I will answer your questions on the Dark Knights, but nothing that will spoil the game. But, um, they could be direct enemies of all the special heroes list. All of them. They will be just straight bad guys, and they will work directly with the God of Destruction. They will be spawns from his power. And all of these, all these beings will be on the special heroes list. And he had some other ideas for normal heroes too, but this really, really got my attention, is the, uh, Demon Lord. Because... I feel like the God of Destruction doesn't have enough attention in this game. Don't get me wrong, people want his power, the power of destruction, especially Delon's. He really, really is after that kind of power, but I don't get to see enough on the God of Destruction's character. I would like to know more about him. Who is he? I want to see him more often. And I think the Demon Lords will be a great addition to that. Now, um, additionally, Along with his idea, I thought that if they were going to add some characters like this, what about the Hidden Masters? I was just thinking, what else are, going to, are they going to add to this hero list? Um, I don't really know. When they added um, Kalahan here, I just didn't know what to say. I didn't know what to say when they added Kalahan here. Um, and there was just really one space there, and that was for Kalahan. And it really, really bugged me that it was just him there. And after they released her... Uh, the newest character, Miho. This is just the beginning. It told me that they're probably not going to add any empty spaces there, kind of like uh, what they're doing right here for the Four Lords of Old, because I don't think they want you to know when they're going to add a character to this hero list, or if they're going to add any at all. So I think they're going to be really um, surprising about this character list in particular. So the next time they add something to this game, uh, it probably would be... Um, and add something to this list, I should say, it probably would be something very, very unexpected, like Miho was. And as for the Four Lords of Old, I know who's going to be added on that character list, but I'm not going to spoil anything for you guys and gals. I would like to give you a sneak peek. If you want to see a sneak peek of the new character, please shoot me up in the comments. I would love to make a uh, review on a sneak peek of the um, newer character, provided the developers do not mind. I would love to show you guys a sneak peek of the uh, character on the Four Lords of Old List, but she will be added very soon, and I will be love to a uh, ask any questions about her if you guys uh, would like to say anything about that. But anyways, um, as far as the rest of the Awakened characters, there's something I want to point out about... Um, that is the wrong character list. Oh, oh, as far as... Blah, 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 blah. Can you speak words, Wraith King? But anyways... Uh, as far as the rest of the Awakening characters are, they seem to be doing things a lot differently on the global version. And not only nerf-wise, but character-wise. They don't add any empty spaces here. 
uh, for the Awakened Hero list. They don't add any empty spaces here. Uh, but on the Korean version, they did. So you're going to know exactly how many characters they're going to add uh, on each character list on the Korean version. But you don't hear. That kind of worries me, but it fascinates me at the same time. Why does it worry me? It might mean they might not release um, the same Awakening characters here. They might awaken other people uh, compared to uh, the Korean version. They might not awaken uh, the same characters. But at the same time, that just tells me that they just want to be a little secretive about their updates. But... The reason I even make who's next I even made a who's next video is because of my friend's idea. I feel like the global version is really really going downhill, especially after this uh the last update a few updates ago. But after they added Miho, it feel like felt like the game was picking up again. And I felt like new ideas are really really needed right now. And when my friend came out with the idea for the Demon Lords, it really really made me think that if they added the Demon Lords to this game global version I feel like it would pick it up a little bit it would pick up the pace it would spice the story up and the Korean version they have some amazing characters but if you, but if you add characters more characters like this right here like the hidden masters and a uh, new random hero lists a uh, special hero list that are exclusive to this game it would make the game and the story a little more spicier and bring more of the uh, global players that are on the Korean version to the global version of Seven Nights. I feel like more new hero lists need to be added to this, not just the Hidden Masters. And I thought my friend's idea was really, really interesting. He didn't say anything about the God of Destruction though, but I think that the God of Destruction should definitely be involved with the Demon Lords because, well, they're Demon Lords and the God of Destruction is a demon in himself. So I think it should be um, definitely uh, something connected with the God of Destruction directly, especially, uh, I, don't, I don't know why I'm saying especially all the time. What is wrong with me? I can't think of words correctly today. Come on, Wraith King, think of words. But anyways, um, I feel like new hero lists would be a great idea for the global version. I feel like it's a, a good avenue for them to explore because, as I said, every time they come out with some of the heroes, that have been released on the Korean version, I feel like they're doing, a, I don't wanna say a bad job, because again, I really do like this game, but honestly, I just, they nerfed them a lot and they don't seem like um, they're as useful. And when they come out with brand spanking new characters, like the Hidden Masters, there's no flaw. They're just solid new characters. They're just straight up good. So I would like to see more of these characters, more brand new characters, rather than them coming out with some of the more original characters, the classic characters, and then messing them up. So uh, if developers, if you're watching this, please do consider adding just straight up new characters. Keep the new characters coming. Don't get me wrong, add some of the classic characters because they are a part of the story, but if you are going to add them, try not to um, nerf them in such a way. Just keep them the way they are. But I don't feel like that's enough to really pick this game up and that's why I think the new hero lists are what's going to make this game really really stand out and make it and make it a really really good game. Make this even better than the Korean version because I know that's what the developers of this global version were trying to do is make it better than the Korean version. But after they updated the game and made it uh, seemed kind of nerfed compared uh, to the Korean version. It made it just go downhill, and I really feel bad about that, because Seven Nights is a great universe. I love all the characters, even though they come out with updates that kind of nerf some of the characters that they have, I still really like this universe. I love the story, I love all the characters in this game, but when they have a nerf on them, any of them at all, it kind of, to me, it feels like it ruins the pacing. It feels like it's ruining the game in general. And I, I don't I don't like that. I just don't. I don't like it when they ruin the game in such a way uh, by nerfing some of their best characters. It just doesn't feel right to me. But don't get me wrong, it's still a great game. And I can't wait to see what the developers come out with next. And I hope um, they come out uh, with the Demon Lords. The developers, please take that idea into consideration because that is a really good idea. 
I feel like the God of Destruction is not explored enough in this game, and I feel like he is a huge villain that would make a huge change to this game if he actually had a character list of his own. And I feel like the Demon Lords would be a great addition to the special heroes list and a great addition to the story of Seven Nights. But anyways, um, if you are wondering what exactly is going to be next in the global version of Seven Nights, I have to say, um, I don't really... <laughs> I think they're going to come out with the Dark Knights list next, because that's uh, where this is going. Because they did release Miho, and if I can recall, the Dark Knights Heroes list should be released right after um, the Crusaders. Come, right after the Crusaders me. were awakened, the Dark Knights list was added. But only one character will be added to the Dark Knights Heroes list on this special uh, uh, hero sheet. Uh, so you'll be noticing them soon, any minute now, I should say. Any minute now, they should be added. Uh, because they're at that point in time of the story, so you should expect them very soon. But once the hero list is released, the Dark Knight's hero list, only one character will be added at the time. They will add more um, after a few updates, but only one will be added uh, once the hero list is um, open and available and if you want to know about that character in particular ask me a question about him in the comments um, as far as who's going to be on the Dark Knights list now how can I say this without spoiling it they're going to be characters most of them are going to be characters we I want to say this without spoiling it I'm trying to think of a way they're unfriendly Ah, that's a terrible explanation. No, no, no. Uh, huh. Well, yeah, they are unfriendly. That That is true. But one of them is kind of friendly. One of them is kind of friendly. Uh, but most of the Dark Knights will be followers of the God of Destruction, but they will not be... Um, the God of Destruction is still his own guy. He doesn't really care about... Um, Dellens. He doesn't really care about any of the people who are following him. He just cares about himself. He's a bad guy. But they are his followers and researchers. And they do um, have some of his dark power. But as I said before, I feel like the Demon Lords would be a direct connection to him. And I really do think that should be added to the game. But as for the Dark Knights, they are connections to him. But they're not direct connections to him, if you get what I'm saying. Um, and as for who they are, uh, some of them will be characters we know, and some of them will be characters we don't know. And I'm not telling you who they are at all. So, okay, that's, that's my little hint hint on the, uh, Dark Knight's Heroes list. But anyways, that's all the time I have left for this Who's Next video. I hope you enjoyed it. Remember to leave a like, comment, and please do subscribe to my channel. I love making Who's Next videos, and I will be coming out with more in the future. Please, oh, and by the way, I have a Twitter. Share your ideas with me. I, lo I love making videos on your ideas all the time. I love talking about them, as you can see. Uh, tweet me your ideas. Who knows, maybe I might notice them, and I might make a video on that idea in particular, like I do with my friend here. Uh, but anyways, that's all the time I got. Remember to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. Take it easy for me, alright? Bye.